All right, so I'm going to do a quick little review on the Nature's Generator Elite. This is the 3600 watt model. Um, I've done the 24 hour pre charge on it, like the tab says here, and like you'll see in the instruction manual, charge it for 24 hours before your first use. Our main concern with getting this was that I could leave it downstairs in the basement next to a 5.1 cubic foot uh, upright freezer that we currently have loaded with uh, about six months worth of pumped breast milk. After a recent power outage, we were hauling milk around to friends and family's houses to uh, make sure that that didn't melt so I'm gonna try out the nature's generator as a thing to just keep by the freezer in case that happens if my wife is home alone I don't envision her tr dragging out a large generator and being able to get that started so you can see right now the battery is full and the freezer is currently drawing 168 watts. Current time is just about 4.30 Thursday afternoon. I'll leave it plugged in and check on it periodically to see how much power it's left and how long this thing will run. Uh, plugged into this small upright freezer. And uh, if you have any interest in one put a question down in the uh, comment section and I'll answer it to the best of my ability um, I got 200 watt solar panels along with it so I'll uh, maybe make a video on charging on how long it takes to charge with the solar panels and uh, otherwise you can find unboxing videos and assembly videos the assembly on the carrying cart is uh really easy the whole process took probably less than 30 minutes and uh we'll check on it periodically and see how much battery is left throughout the throughout the afternoon and night here and if there's still plenty of battery i'll leave it plugged in overnight and we'll just see how long this thing will run all right all right, so about an hour into our test, uh, you can see we are now pulling zero watts. Uh, when I plugged it in earlier, I opened the doors to make the freezer cycle and run for a while so I could see how many watts it was pulling. Um, and as you can see now, the freezer is no longer cycling itself. So we're currently pulling zero watts uh, an hour into our test. and. I'll check it again later and we'll see how long the battery lasts. We're at about 7.30 on Friday morning. So uh, about 15 hours of runtime now. And you can see that the freezer is cycling and pulling about 150 watts. And the battery has come down just a little. It's coming down off a of full. So 15 hours it's been running. Um, I'm pretty confident in this that it'll last at least 24 hours. I think I'm gonna pull it off from here and then uh, I'll hook it up to a regular refrigerator and do another video on that. If, uh, if you've got any questions about it, leave them down in the comments and I'll try to answer them. Thanks for watching.